Hey everybody, um, it's Jerry. Here's a short video on how I was um, creating a projection line for intraday data using Vertex. Um, uh, vertex against the north node and Vertex as it enters um, each house um, in turn. Um, let me just show you on my astrolog chart um, what I'm talking about. Uh, vertex is a, a point, uh, it's not an actual astronomical body, but it's a, it's a, a series of vectors uh, between the elliptic and the midheaven. Um, and as it progresses through the day, um, it goes in one full revolution every 24 hours. And I noticed an effect when Vertex made aspects with the planets, but also a pretty big effect as Vertex entered each new house and also at the midpoints of the house houses. But um, that's a lot of points uh, during a 24-hour period. So on the chart I posted today, um, I just put vertex entering each house. And then this projection line was created using the astronomy module. Let me just bring that up for a second. Um, so um, using the position in the ULE events uh, model editor, I put in vertex and then here put all houses in the zodiac and using the elliptic um, and find the time of ingress not while it's in the house but the beginning of the ingress into it so that's the formula and then I hit calculate and that's where we end up with these vertical lines um, in terms of the astronomy module let's take a peek at that oops sorry here we go um, I notice that vertex against north node, which is also an imaginary point, um, in geo uh, with three quarters of a harmonic gave me a pretty nice smooth curve with a hundred percent smooth orb. Um, and notice um, here's today, July twelfth, twenty eighteen. Um, that uh, the inflection points seem to be vertex entering a house and a change in the curve here. Uh, here it's somewhat aligned, um, and here, and here, etc. So let me bring over my metaphor, MetaTrader 4 cart chart. And here we have those points um, 2 in the morning, let's see, 2.15. Uh, we had a movement up. Uh, roughly 315, 320, a movement down. There's a little blip in here. A major trend change at 740, 745 in the morning. And let me move this back for a second. Here's that uh, one at 744 right here. Okay, so it's pretty remarkable. And um, as I mentioned, this is Euro USD. This is a five minute chart. Um, again, how do I even begin to build this? So I start by taking MetaTrader 4 and I'm using OENDA data um, because um, it's, it's good data in real time uh, for Eastern Standard Time where I'm located. So I go Tools, History Center, click on the five minute Euro USD, export, and save the data here. Yes, I want to replace it and close. <clears throat> and then over here, I load the data. Um, let me make sure I save this template first. So VX um, Zodiac and Astronomy. Okay, and forecast, maybe I'll put in 2,000 bars here. Click OK. Writing the worksheet. Okay, so let's open up the new data and see how things are progressing here. 
Euro USD, five minute. Give it a second to load here. Okay. Okay. Calculate. Zoom in here. Alrighty. And then file, run as template. Here we go. And notice, um, yeah, how this is shaping up today. Um, something I haven't researched yet. Um, um, which houses are more uh, powerful, if you will, or they have equal weight? <clears throat> um, since I posted that chart this morning, here's been the action so far. It's looking like we're going to see a movement up high um, at 1530-ish um, New York time uh, for today's action. And here we have some of this up and down action for the rest of the day. Let me zoom in here a little bit starting with that. Oops, a little too much. Okay, so notice there's a peak here and it dropped down. This is all data that was projected into the future since I posted the chart and it still seems to be working out. Here's a peak on this one. It's a minor blip um, and a movement upward and a little downward, and here we have um, an upward movement either starting at 12.30 or um, at 12.50. So uh, basically that's it. Um, good luck. I hope you try this out and t let me know what you think. Um, but I haven't been involved with 5-minute intraday data much in the past, so this is it's fun to play with this and see how it pans out going into the future. Uh, any help that you can add by testing uh, would be appreciated. Take care.